Right now, we've got a, a man by the name of Matt who does not want to use his last name. You're looking at live pictures from HD Chop Rate at the Collin College campus. Matt uh, witnessed the shooting. And Matt, good morning. Uh, tell us what you saw this morning. Oh, good morning. Uh, well, I was on my way into the office and saw the large black plume of smoke and was curious to know what was going on. So my wife and son and I drove down community there. There were no emergency vehicles on the scene. Um, we did hear some sirens of fire trucks coming from the nearby fire station, but no one was there yet. Um, as we were driving by in front of the police station, we saw uh, the white pickup truck and trailer that was on fire. And um, as I'm kind of videoing that and driving by, I hear the popping sounds coming from my right, the south side of the road there. And uh, I stopped my camera and I turned and looked and there was a, a man maybe 30 to 50 feet off of the road with a, a bulletproof jacket on and um, what appeared to be a semi-automatic rifle. And he was taking, taking shots. Um, when I made contact, I contact with him and, and saw him. He was turning towards a campus police officer's uh, vehicle that was coming around the corner of a building there on campus, and uh, he took a couple shots in that direction, and uh, we went on. Uh, we went on down a couple hundred yards and parked in a parking lot and could just continue to hear uh, gunfire after gunfire uh, coming out from over in that area. And Matt, how close are you to the, uh, the gunman? When we were driving down the road, um, I would say he was somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 50 feet from us. Uh, he was just really standing out in the middle of a field. Not, I guess he was near some trees, but he wasn't up in the trees. He was pretty much out in the open, uh, just standing there shooting at, at vehicles when they would drive by. Matt, was there another gunman with him, or did this appear to be a, a solo gunman uh, taking shots? He was the only person with a gun that I saw um, other than... A little bit later, I saw several police officers come rushing out of the building across the street and over to the field. That was all that I had seen with people with guns. When he was taking these shots, uh, do you think they were random shots or did they look pretty deliberate? He was, he was gunning for people, so to speak. You know, my, from my perspective, it appeared that he was shooting at, at vehicles, um, you know, as they would, as they would come by. Uh, he did not shoot at our vehicle, but at least that I'm that I'm aware of. There's nothing, no damage. But when I saw him, I know he did turn towards that, um, that Collin College police officer's vehicle and uh, some shots were fired. And Matt, could you see if this was a, a gunman who was shot by the police or perhaps a self-inflicted gunshot wound from where your vantage point was? No, from where I was, I, I did not see him get shot. Um, we were back several hundred yards and, and there was a set of trees between us and, and where they were at. So I never saw if he got shot or not. And you're looking at a live picture now from HD Chopper 8 in McKinney uh, where gunman has opened fire outside the McKinney Police Department. That gunman uh, is dead according to the city of McKinney. They're not sure if it's a self-inflicted gunshot wound or if it was shot by police. But Matt uh, didn't want to give his last name a witness uh, to, to the shooting there. Matt, we appreciate it. And of course, uh, News 8 and WFA.com will have the latest as the story undeveloped uh, from McKinney. Uh, the, the campus is on 